Hey guys! Welcome to what could be the last part of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. We are finally at this point in the game. Um, in between episodes we've done a lot. And I mean a lot. I've grinded up my team to about level 70. And I added a new teammate to my team because mostly it's a Pokemon I really like and I don't get a chance to, I probably won't ever get a chance to show it off on a Let's Play. It's Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a pseudo-legendary Pokemon of uh, Gen 2. He evolves from Larvitar, evolves into Pipitar at level 30, and then evolves into Tyranitar at level, 20, uh, level 55. Um, Tyranitar is a rock dark type Pokemon, and he has an ability called Sandstream, which means that he automatically starts a um, sandstorm as soon as the battle starts. And I wanted to use him, uh, I kind of put uh, right on on the wayside, unfortunately, but that's okay. I just wanted to show this Pokemon off because I really like this Pokemon myself, and it would be the like literally last time I ever get a chance to do so. Yeah. Um, Amber's trained her Pokemon up to what what level did you train your Pokemon? 72. 72? Okay, and the reason why is because, well, we're about ready to fight the Elite Four again. We're doing the rematches of the re Elite Four. And this is by far probably one of the hardest challenges in the game because, well, they've upped their Pokemon up a lot. I'm actually going to go ahead and buy some potions. I probably should have done this beforehand. But, um, yeah, this is probably by far one of the hardest things in this game. And we needed to be prepared for it. And I'm kind of glad that we did. Uh, we also, I mean, you guys won't know any difference because, well, it's going to be part of the last episode. But Amber spent most of the time... Two, me and her spent most of the time <laughs> trying to catch Suicune. Damn you, Suicune! We ended up, trying to, ended up catching Suicune and whatnot, and we, we took a while on that, and that, that was another thing. But there was one thing I didn't, I kind of glossed over, um, and I really won't ever have a chance to really um, to show it off, is the Pokemon, the, the trainer card. Last episode, we kind of, well, episode beforehand, we caught our last Pokemon for the Kanto Dex. And we completed the Kanto Dex. We have completely 100% the Kanto Dex. And you actually get milestones on your trainer card for that. Uh, we had, now have two stars. Uh, two stars, if you see the stars above the money on your trainer card, yeah, it'll show two stars instead of one. You, there are four stars in total on the trainer card itself. Uh, the first star we got from just beating the game, entering the Hall of Fame. Uh, you get that normally as, as time progresses. Uh, the second star is for completing the Kanto, Kanto Dex, 100%. Catching every Pokemon, all 150, minus Mew. Mew, uh, Mew is not counted towards this. Mew is uh, number 151 on the Pokedex. You do not have to catch Mew. Um, that does not count. We're not doing the National Dex for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's where we got the second star. The third star you get for completing the National Dex. Which is all... Th well, not, not... All 386 Pokemon in Generation 3. There's 386 Pokemon. Minus the mythical Pokemon. Uh, these mythical Pokemon include Mew, Celebi, Jirachi, Deoxys, and they also count Ho-Oh and Lugia, too. They, you can, do not have to catch Ho-Oh and Lugia as well. And you have to catch every single other Pokemon. This requires you to get <laughs> a lot of stuff in order to do so. You need to have two copies, or you need to have a copy of Fire Red version, Leaf Green version, uh... Pokemon Coliseum, at least, and a GameCube, and Link Cables, and a copy of Ruby and Sapphire as well. 
Um, I mean, most people say you could use Emerald, but Emerald does not have all the Hoenn Pokemon in it. it misses, it's missing two. It misses Zangoose and Lunatone, which Ruby and Sapphire respectfully have, so you're better off just getting off Ruby and Sapphire at that point and Colosseum. You can also get XD Gale Darkness, too, to kind of help with that, but that's another thing, too. You, you just need to buy a GameCube, both Pokemon games on the GameCube, buy Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, have... <laughs> Have link cables to the GameCube. Have link cables to your, your uh, Game Boy SPs. Have two SPs, by the way. And just train. Uh, trade. Oh, man. Remember that? There's days? a lot of stuff. I mean, we're recording off of GameCube, so technically you can have a Game Boy player, too, to do all that stuff. But you you need remember the link cable days, though? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. You need to have all that in order to complete the national decks in this game. And once you do that, you get a third star, and it's, and it's uh, silver. The four star that you get on the po on the trainer card is by getting 200, two hundred, I think it's twenty thousand points on the the Pokemon Jump mini game and the Dodrio Berry Picking game on on Two Island, and you need to co uh, to copy Ruby, uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green in order to play. You need actually three copies of the game to play the Dodrio mini game. So, That's ridiculous. once you get all that, then you have four stars, then you have a gold trainer card. And the last thing I wanted to talk about, and I haven't even updated my picture on my team list here. If you flip it over, you see the little stickers you get on the back of your trainer card. Uh, we got one for completing the Hall of Fame. Um, it's right there next to the trainer name. Uh, there's three in total. There's one for completing the defeating the Elite Four. One for hatching eggs, and one for trade uh, link trade battles. If you can get the best stickers by <laughs> defeating the elite four two hundred times, hatching three hundred eggs, and defeating a hundred trainers in link battles, and that's how you do that. I just now noticed why is the Pokemon not showing up on the bottom of my side? Because you didn't get the picture at the rocket corner. Uh, you get its pictures of your team. Um, there's a little printer in the corner at the Rocket uh, Hideout in Celadon City, um, in the casino area. If you do pay fifty dollars, they take a picture of your team and put it on the back of your card. I didn't know. That's okay. Oh, that was back then. But that's the deal with that. That is the last of the hundred percent requirements that I kind of wanted to go over. And we're not going to be showing that because that's just too much. We already played too much of this game at this point. You know, we we practically <laughs> done everything that. Basically, we're gonna. We have planned from the start. Yeah. Um, there might have been a couple things we didn't plan that we went ahead and did anyways, like catching both legendaries on our games. Yeah. But everything else, it, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's worth. not really worth it. It's not worth the stress. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to just show it off anyways to kind of talk about it. Anyways, we're going to take on the Elite Four once again. So let's go on and fight the Elite Four. Oh boy. Alright, Lorelei. Welcome so, to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelei, of the Elite Four have returned. You know how it goes. No one can best to come to me when icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be in my mercy when they are frozen salt. You ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm the champion. Why do I have to fight you again? <laughs> Why do I have to reclaim? This is the defense match. You have to defend your title. Now, alright, we're back, guys. Sorry, we had a kitty cat interruption um yeah as you can see the elite four is a lot stronger than before um dugon's level 64 and he's already starting off with freaking double team oh, great. you know great. i noticed when i was training at my pokemon i've been getting really lucky with hunger really like it just hit just now uh, i wish it did oh god Palestine. um this is another thing it, the rematches uh, don't use thunder. I'm just gonna tell you. I'm not. Doesn't affect him. Okay, I just want to show. That's that okay. Off. Um, yeah. The reason why is because um, they have a tra they have a they have swapped out their Pokemon out a little bit. Uh, they're tr trying to show off the new the new Pokemon of this generation, uh, or not generation, but Gen two. They're trying to show off new Gen two Pokemon. So, Lorelei has a Polyswine. Polyswine is the evolved form of Swino. 
And he's a ground ice type. So you want to kind of go ahead and take him out with ice, with water attack. He has earthquake, so yeah, just be careful. Earthquake, <laughs> not fun. But yeah, they trade in one of their Pokemon for a uh, Gen 2 Pokemon. And each Elite Four member is like this. Oh god, she's level 66 with Lavers. Oh, oh gosh. This is what I'm talking about. They, the, the rematches kind of stink. <laughs> uh, my best bet is fainted. I'm gonna have to revive. That's okay. Yeah, Ooh, I got a crit. That's good. Plenty of revives at least. Yeah. So this is probably the greatest challenge you could do, unless you're trying to go for those dang stickers on your training card, and you have to fight them 200 times, but by then, your Pokemon should be like 100 at that point, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. Cloyster is just going to go down really easily. Cloyster. Cloyster. I remember back then, um, Cloyster's sprite in red and blue was opposite of what it is now. It was like, it was like, like opened up like this. Yeah. And on, on vertical, like vertically, it used to be opened up horizontally on red and, red and blue. Oh, really? It's kind of weird. Alright, let me use Flamethrower. Jinx is just pure ice type and, well, it's not pure ice type, but the ice type and psychic type. You're kind of ahead of me now. Yeah, just a little bit. That's okay. Um... Yeah, the Lapras knows Psychic, which is a good good move to teach Lapras. Psychic is a good move to teach Lapras. Because it has a high special attack, if I remember correctly. Ooh, come on! Ow! Oh. I hate Ice Beam. Anyway, don't hit me. It's okay. Laurel, I used a second full restore on, my, on Jinx, so... I should just use Fire Blast, but that's okay. I just I I don't like moves that are not very accurate. Come on, be faster. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I'd, I'd hope Bright shoot be faster. Yeah, I mean like. Um... I really hope, especially <laughs> yours is over leveled. I mean, I wouldn't say over leveled, but a lot higher than Lapras. Things should be this way. Well, too bad for you, lady. You better not See, thought going ahead. I'm getting lucky. <laughs> you only got a taste of the Pokemon League's pattern. Alright, well, let me heal my Pokemon. Yeah, this is a... Gonna just have a repeat of how the last episode... Well, the... I want to say last episode, but the... The semi-finale of our original playthrough was... Yeah. We're just having to fight the Elite Four again. I That's, mean, it is kind of required. Yeah. I mean, it's not required. This is just the last thing we can... We can do... Per se. Unless we will want to battle each other again. Yeah. Go heal. There we go. That cry always got me. <laughs> yeah. That one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks for the money. Alrighty. Um, now we're gonna fight Bruno. Wait on me. So. Be sure to start off, I really would suggest starting off with a Water-type Pokemon, because uh, he started off with Onyx last time. Yeah, him. he's Rock and ground yeah. type trainer. Well, Onyx is no longer an Onyx in his fights. Oh, that's right. He's probably, I'm going to guess, a Steelix. Yes. He's, he's actually evolved his Onyx, which Onyx is a, has an evolved form in Gen 2. It evolved into a Pokemon called Steelix, which... <laughs> Steelix is a kind of a monster. I like Steelix. Steelix is a kind of an underrated Pokemon, in my opinion. Well, my battle went great, didn't it? That's okay. <laughs> and then I bought a lot of things. Yeah. Your birdie. I gotta have my birdie. He's mm -hmm. my favorite Pokemon. I'd be crushed if he wasn't here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so as soon as we go through here, it'd probably be best if we saved. Yeah, just to, just in case we lose again, because I'm gonna be honest with you, there's gonna be some fights I'm gonna be worried about. So I'm gonna save again. Please, recording, do not mess up on me. I think it'll be alright. Okay. All right, let's go on. Go to Bruno. Bruno. I am Bruno, the Elite Four, the rigorous trainer. People in Pokemon have become stronger without limit. 
I've lived and trained my Pokemon. Why are you Pokemon? That will never change. Matthew, you will grind you down with a superior power. Hoo-ha! Didn't he say the same thing? The yeah, first time? the same thing. The first time. It's like, dude, we, we beat you once. <laughs> the only thing different with Lorelai says she, is that she returned. That's all it is. Oh, Steelix. Yeah, Steelix. Steelix is a steel rock type Pokemon. So, your water type moves will actually do well. I, my Blastoise actually learned Hydro Pump since, really? her, since uh, we trained. So I taught it that. <laughs> yeah, Steelix is level 65, too. Oh so. my god. <laughs> I'm so glad we leveled up. Yeah, hit him only. Uh, we're gonna have a Psychic type. I have a mini Psychic type Pokemon. I'm still gonna Ice Beam it, though, see if I can freeze it. <laughs> Mega oh. kick. Oh, ow. Alright, let's do psychic. Okay. Hit more lead! I still hope that tip my chance better. Yeah. Missed. <laughs> he missed. I love Butterfree. I love Butterfree. <laughs> Butterfree just, just saved your, your hind in there. Yeah. Alright, then I'm gonna go back to Blastoise. He, he, both of his Onyxes have evolved into Steelix. Which, I don't know how he got freaking two Metal Coats, but he got two Metal Coats. Why would you have two Steelixes? He had the game, didn't he? Yeah, I guess he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, gosh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's quad damage. Yeah, I probably think it. Uh, that's okay. You did get a Butterfree. Alright, so I gotta switch that with his hand. Now, I don't understand why um, Bruno doesn't didn't trade out one of his um, his Steelixes for like a Hitmontop or something. Because he does have Hitmontop and uh, spoilers for gold and silver. You fight him again and you leave for gold and silver. And he has a Hitmontop on his team. Which d still doesn't make any sense to me why he, they didn't trade him out. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna hurt too. It's okay. Quad damage. And a crit. That didn't help. No, no. Your birdie would do good. Yeah. There. Defeated Bruno. Aerial Ace. I love Aerial Ace. Since you, you told me about it, I was like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> My job is done. Go face your next challenge. I still got one more. <laughs> That's okay. Um, let's try to see if we can heal someone. I don't think I'm... Oh, I didn't take any damage from that one. Good. I hate you. That's okay. I'm sorry. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't take no damage. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm sitting here with like two fainted Pokemon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Yeah. Steelix is kind of a cool Pokemon, though. I remember when uh, I was playing Gold He's and Silver. He's kind of scary looking. Yeah, when I played Gold and Silver for the first time and I fought against Jasmine, the Steel type gym leader, and she had a Steelix, it was scary. Okay. Now we've got to go heal your Pokemons. Now for the next one, the next one's gonna be a little bit different. Agatha changed her team up a little bit. I'm trying to think who'd be best against Agatha. Um, for this round. For you, do you know have a Pokemon that knows bite? Persian does. Yeah, Persian probably would be best. Okay. Well I think done. she leads off. I think she leads off with her. Yeah, I think she does. That music, like this, is the same music that plays during like the Rocket Base hideout music. Yeah. I, I don't know, this music always got to me as a kid. <laughs> oh, really? Because it used to scare me, because I thought it was like, what am I going to run into in here? <laughs> the, the Porygon real quick. I don't have no regular heels up in it. There I am. Max Potion at this point, because, I mean, we're kind of cutting it close with the 200 HPs. Your Bay Porygon, for sure, has way more than 200 HP. Yeah. Did like 288, so it's just like, yeah, we need to uh, upgrade the max potions here. Okay. Yeah, your Persian might be the best for this. Um, let's you go ahead and save. Well, yeah, let's go save. Save after every battle. Yeah. I'm scared on Lance. Lance yeah, I'm kind of scared for Lance, me. too, because Lance is going to be hard. 
Okay. Oh my goodness, we've put in so much time into this game. Yes, we did. Now it's finally almost over. You believe it, guys? Yep. I am Agaphobia Leaf 4. You child of the oaks taking wonders wing, aren't you? That old duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battle. I'll show you the real trainer, but how a real trainer battles. Agatha used to kind of scare me as a kid. I remember she kind of roadblocked me in the original red and blue. Oh, really? Because my team wasn't very good because I was just wondering about Pokemon. Yeah. Really start off with Gengar already? Yeah. I'm going to start showing off my Tyranitar. My Tyranitar's first major battle is here. We're just going to go ahead and crunch him. Are you glad you trained him up? Mm -hmm. Missed. Good. Oh For fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> that should... There we go. Super yeah, crunch is really good. Bite's really good, too. Not doing much damage, though. That's okay. Bite's kind of... Well, you don't have stab, and not only that, it's... The difference between your Persian and my Tyranitar is my Tyranitar is getting stabbed. Oh, okay. So, there you go. You took out King Card. About to use Arbok. I'm actually going to keep Tyranitar. Arbok can kind of change, too. What is he, he going to use? Crobat? Okay, Crobat. This is the other... Po oh, first of the, of the Pokemon she's changed. Her Golbat has evolved into Crobat. Crobat is a very good Pokemon. He is a very fast Pokemon, and he will poison you. He is very not to be messed around with. Maybe I should switch out for time. Well, you could probably... Well... Oh, I'm worried poison. Alright, go ahead and try using Raichu, then. I need somebody that's fast, too, so... Yeah. Oh my gosh. Freaking Arbok hung on by... A little bit, but Arbrek's gonna die because of that. Story. There we go. That should take care of it. Okay. There we go. Good. Whew. Now, this is a, the, another new Pokemon she has. She's traded out one of her, I think, I think Arbok. it's one of her Pokemon. Uh, one of her other Pokemon. I think it's uh, another Gengar. Uh, for. Mistrevis. Mistrevis is a ghost type from Gen 2. It is the only ghost type from Gen 2. It knows Thunderbolt. Wow, that's just great. What the fudge? What? Why is her arm on level 68? Because it's really strong. I don't know why she has that. Pokemon, to be perfectly honest, it's not a ghost type. Why is it? Uh, I'm sorry. That <laughs> is. I just happened to look at it. Almost like, why? <laughs> Gengar. Level 70 Gengar. My gosh. Oh, she's pulling out the new one. Mistress. Mistress is a ghost type, so dark type can do really well against it. So does Flank Dollar. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he knows Thunderbolt as well. Oh gosh, Tyranitar. Oh lordy. That's not good. That's okay. I think Gengar might be faster than me. I uh, think so. That's okay. I think Gengar is really Gengar's a really fast Pokemon. Oh gosh, I don't think this is gonna end well. Alright, Charter, do as much damage as you can. Oh my Alakazam was faster than This is getting scary now. Yeah, it is getting scary. Oh, oh. no, it's been burned. Okay, good. As long as you don't use Full Restore. Got to use Crobat. Jolteon. Good job, Charger. Uh, Aerial Ace won't hurt it, will it? Uh, yeah, it will hurt it. Mm. I knew she was gonna do that. <laughs> she used Thunder. She used Thunder Land for it. Oh, it still killed it. Good. All right, good. Good gracious! Uh, Thunderbolt's gonna hurt. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Damn it! It critical, critical hit I'm too. I'm in trouble. Um. I have to. Yeah. 
think your Persian might be faster than him, but... As long as I don't die from poison first. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Bye! Bye, Gengar! Get out of here! <laughs> I'm a herdedid. <laughs> uh, I'm a herdedid, too. 